Hey Divas and Gents, I'm coming to you with my guest design team project for Dee's store, which is Elegant Embellishments. I will have the store link below so that you can go take a sneaky peek. And I will also have um, Archana's store um, below as well for um, the paper flowers. So she has... Um, I believe they are wild orchid craft flowers so she sells them there and if you're into the paper flowers you totally need to go there because we both know we all know that whether it's i am roses or wild orchid crafts that um, that's out of the country so you do have to wait if you know three to four weeks for your shipment or sometimes if you're like you'll get it sooner but with our chana you'll get it within days so that's an added bonus for amazing papered flowers so i like i said i will go ahead and keep i I have both of those links down there below and um, also to um, the discount code for uh, Dee's store as well so let's go ahead and dive in now what I went ahead and did is I altered a cigar box this cigar box was gifted to me by Kat hi Kat she's Lolly Thimble here on um, YouTube she does not post videos but she did send me a lot of amazing goodies and so I went ahead and altered um, an old cigar box that she had some vintage jewelry in that she um, gave me so that's what I did now what I did is I decoupaged the whole thing these are the napkins that is inside of Dee's store, okay, and um, and Tammy had mentioned in one of her videos, be, um, well, not below, but one of her videos when she showed hers, that this comes in three layers, so you take off the first two layers, and then you, just the one layer is the one that you're going to use for decoupaging, so I use Mod Podge on mine, and um, some of them I ripped up, it's not just like it's one flat sheet. It doesn't that's not how it is some of it is pieces of it and it's layered on top and I absolutely like that I love that it's you see right here all the little wrinkles and stuff like that I love that you're not gonna get a flush layer of um, napkin on a big piece because you gotta got you kind of have to be quick because you have to lay it down you have to put the like the whole thing with Mod Podge and Mod Podge kind of dries fast in my eyes. So you lay it down and then sometimes a portion that won't stick. So you have to lift it up, put some more Mod Podge, then you lay it down. And then if you're going to do it in pieces, you have to lay more Mod Podge on top of this, then lay the other piece on top and then you don't know, like in layers. So, and then when you do that, you're going to see it does all these wrinkles and I absolutely love it. So I went ahead and I, like I said, I did the whole box on the outside. It did not do the decoupaging on the inside because with the temperatures and weather, the top lid, it's going to stick and then it's going to end up ripping this and then I'm going to be mad. So I didn't want to do that. So I kept the inside natural. I did go ahead and add these metal corners that I had in my stash from a long time ago. I used E6000 to adhere that. So I have them on all four corners. Then on the bottom, I went ahead and used these from um, her uh, kits that I showed you. She had a 1A and a 1B, and these were in both of those kits. So I used them as feet, and I also adhered these with E6000 as well. So you'll see, I have it here and here. So I absolutely love how that came out i love it that i used them as feet so they just look pretty okay then i went ahead and added this is another one of the pieces it's an applique beaded piece and i used it underneath the little hatch right there this little latch i mean and this it's shaped kind of like a u so i put it right there and of course i adhered that as well with um e6000 okay so it's so beautiful love it okay and then the bottom part of the lid now this okay right here is the bottom part this is the, one of the laces that comes in there as well and it comes in both the a and the b and i did that all the way around and you'll see this is where i start and finished right here okay then i did on the lid part the other trim that comes with it 
Okay, and what I did is I did the start and finish all of the trims on the same corner. I didn't want there to be different areas where I didn't get, you know, where you have to cut it. I didn't want that. Okay, and then I used this trim right here was from my stash right here because I wanted like a lot of layers. Okay, and I wanted them to be dangles. So it kind of takes away from where the start and the finish is. So you see there's one there and then it's right here and then these little dangles kind of covers that so you don't really pay attention to where the start and the finish is. Of course I always overlap it a little bit as well. Okay, so and I did that. All of this goes all the way around. Okay, and then on top of those I use this really beautiful embroidered trim that also comes into the kit. So pretty. And I had to use both of them. So because one piece did not go all the way around the box. So, um, cause I forgot how many inches it was that the first one was, and then I added it and then I just started it right where it ended. And I used both trims from both kits. Okay. All right, now let's get to the top. This right here is from my stash as well. It's a wide dangle trim. This right here, all dangles. But of course I adhered it because I didn't want this whole piece flopping around. But you can see that I decoupaged the bottom. And what I did is I, this trim right here, it goes up to here. So I cut two pieces, one that goes this way and another one that's going that way. Okay, and it covers the whole box because I wanted these little dangles to hang over as well. So it goes around the whole box. You'll see it's right up here. Okay. And then on top, this applique also comes in the kit. It's so beautiful. It comes, I believe it's the 1A kit. Um, but like I said, I'll have it linked below. She has both of the kits there and she has pictures. So you'll see what's inside of both of them. Cause once I started crafting, I literally took everything out so that I could just be readily be able to pick things up. And um, this, cause this applique piece does not come in both of them. So I went ahead and put that one on there. I used right here some, um, what's that called? Um, gauze. <laughs> I believe that's what it is. Yeah, and so I and I laid a big piece that lays all on top here and I just started pulling at it so that it shows up like, you know, in different spots. So, so you see it right here. I just love that look underneath stuff. Okay, so that's at the bottom. And then I have a doily from my stash that's layered back here. This also came into the kits, both the, um, the 1A and the 1B has this right here. It's a brooch. I also adhere this with E6000 and I just left this right here so that it dangles. So what I did is since it's a brooch, I clipped it on to this doily, but I put E6000 on top of it as well. And then I hot glued it at the bottom of the doily. So everything laid on top of each other so that this isn't going anywhere. Okay. So this right here is the full piece right here. Okay, let me move the little shooting pearls out of the way. And then right here are our Chana's flowers. Okay, that she has. And I did go ahead and put stickles on them. Real focus. I loved it. So I used the lavender and the two-toned pink. And you'll see that I've added them sporadically. I love these ones right here. This is like the perfect size right here. Especially when you need to tuck them in. I love, love, love those. I'm going to have to make a stop because I don't have very many smaller flowers. I have, I do have a lot of wild orchid and I am roses, but they're the bigger ones. So I'm gonna have to go to our Chana store and get some of those. But right here also is from my stash. It's just a really pretty flower. And then this as well is from my stash, this flower. And then in the kit has these little sew on rhinestones that you'll see that I sporadically put on the flowers. Okay, so I put those there. And then you'll see there's one right here. There's one right there. And when we get to this side of the bouquet, this right here is a silk flower. This was also gifted to me. Oh, it's right there, the tip of my tongue on who gave those to me because I got a bunch of these uh, in yellow as well. Oh, it's right there. I'm so sorry because I know 
if you see this video and you know you want to gift it to me please i mean it's like right there and i cannot get it out of my mouth but thank you so much this was perfect this is a perfect little silk flower it was gorgeous and fit beautifully right there and then of course here's some more so you see i put them here and i put them here as well they all have stickles on them and then i have this really pretty stick pin right here that nurse tara had gifted me a long time ago in a beautiful stick pin cushion so i used that it's been a while since i've used stick pins and then you'll see right here i put some more of those little um, so ons there are 12 of them comes in a pack and i used all of them on this project one whole pack all right and then this one right here is another flower from my stash and um, this was also a brooch so i ripped off the metal backing to it and then i just adhered it and then i just put on the little random rhinestones right here in here okay and then it's laid on top of there's a bigger doily piece underneath and then there's another doily on top of that and then inside there there's another um, applique piece as well so i just did a lot of layering and then you'll see right here is the gauze and then you're going to see all of these shooting pearls these are all shooting pearls that I just have in pieces, just tucked in different spots because I love that look of them just hanging out in different spots. So you'll see they're right here as well. And then right here, shooting out of the boxes, same thing. Just gorgeous. Okay. And those, these right here are from um, Hobby Lobby. These shooting pearls and it it's in the wedding section and it's wrapped up in a package. Okay, so you'll see I have another uh, fabric flower in there that was from my stash. So it was perfect to mix the papered flowers from our Chanda store to mix with the fabric flowers and just lots of layers. I love projects that have a ton of layers. Even though like you're looking and you're like, gosh, you know, why would I put a piece right here of um, this applique piece and you're not going to even see most of it you only see the tip of it right there right but i just love the look i don't know i just can't help it so that every little peak has a little you know something to look at so they're layered i really love how this came out i really enjoyed doing this it was a little of a process but i really wanted to do um decoupaging so and on here i did make it to where you can still open the latch it had this one didn't have screws or else i would have removed it and replaced the latch but i only um but what i did is i put the trim as i layered it and i cut a little hole into the trim so that i can put the little latch piece right there through it i didn't want to cut around it because that would have just not looked right or clean okay and the inside i didn't do anything with it all i did in the top is i added a piece of paper so this looks like the inside of the box but it's not the inside of the box had a big huge yellow sticker on here and it represented the cigars or whatever that went inside of it and i didn't want that to be there i did not want to like i said i didn't want a decoupage inside um because like i said in the summertime things just don't, they start sticking when you do wooden boxes that's why i don't like painting either on the inside right here i don't like to paint because the same thing it'll stick and then when you open it it'll rip off the paint i don't like that so i left it clean on the inside so there would never be that problem and then right here i did the same thing i just put a piece of paper and it just happened to be wood panel paper so that because you can see the natural look of it is just this box but then you'll see the panels right there of the wood and i thought it would be perfect just to put that in there so it looks like it's part of the box now when i gift this of course i'm going to put some goodies inside of here and then i'll leave it that you know like that i was going to line it with paper on here but because this is really busy right here i just thought it would have clashed adding anything else inside of here so i opted to not want to do that i didn't want to do you know a whole lot going on the inside so i left it alone okay and then just go ahead and close that and then put the trims down and it's good to go so this is my project i hope you like it it's been a while since i've like seriously um altered anything so i had a lot of fun going through my um my trims and just going through all my stuff that i don't haven't touched in probably over a year so it was really nice 
to just dig into stuff. So I love how it came out. It's so pretty and it's ready for gifting. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and, you know, taking a sneaky peek at my project. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate all your comments and, um, Anytime that I mention that I'm looking for something or that I, you know, if you guys know anything, I appreciate each of you ladies that take the time to say, yeah, you can get it here. You can go here. I love that. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. So thank you so much. Take a, go take a trip over to D's store and see what's available there. If in case there's something that you wanted and she may not have it posted right there, please message her because I'm sure she would be able to put something together for you. So please don't feel like you can't because you may not see it. Messenger. And also, too, for um, Archana's store, she sells a, a gang of things, like a ton of different stuff. So, I mean, you may go there, paper flowers, but she has a ton of other things as well. Name brown paper pads. And for Shabby Chic lovers, it's Shabby Chic Heaven on the papers. She gets some beautiful paper pads there. So, um, like I said, I'll put all the links below. Thank you again for stopping by. And I will see you guys very, very soon.